Corbin back, I believe, at Parthenia, where he just blasted right through that. Uh, so a really close call there. And again, that's part of the reason why they've been uh, just kind of primarily tracking this uh, from the air. They, they want this person to calm down, but it's not it's not happening. You know, sometimes we see LAPD back off in hopes that uh, the suspect is going to ease off the, the gas pedal, not drive so, so erratically, but uh, it doesn't always work. You know, sometimes they, uh, they just continue to drive like this and, you know, still no units behind uh, this person. At least he stopped at that. Wow. The red right. light didn't just blow through it like the last one, but, uh, but he did obviously uh, go through that, again, at least coming to a stop. Uh, at the very least, but we're still southbound on Corbin. So kind of circling back to uh, where this began. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I believe it began somewhere near the uh, Pierce College area. Southbound on Corbin, uh, crossing uh, Strathern Street right now. Yeah. yeah, they seem to have him mm -hmm. at uh, Sherman Way in DeSoto um, when this started, like right. at about 914. So as you, as you mentioned, he is in the same area. He seems to be staying mm -hmm. in the San Fernando Valley mm -hmm. around. He's, he mentioned Pierce College. I thought for a minute he could have been going to uh, Northridge, right. um, University of Northridge, which good thing, you know, students aren't on campus. So as we've been talking about how there are fewer people out on the streets, mm -hmm. where there are a lot of businesses, a lot of taverns. Oh, oh. Oh, what's happened? Oh, oh, oh we just oh. tried another spike strip right there, him. but it didn't work. It didn't oh, work? and a bicyclist yeah. there oh. too, oh gosh. Now, he, no, yeah, it looked like they, that did not look successful to me. It was close, but he kind of swerved at the last second. Uh, but but again, you see, that's that's now at least two spike strip attempts that we've seen. Um, you know, they, again, I, I'm not sure how many units they, they have involved in this chase, but it's a pretty significant amount to be able to get them uh, out in position like that. And uh, hopefully they'll be, hopefully third time is a charm on this one as we are on Satakoy Street headed back uh, westbound. So Riyadh, really not too far at all from where you said this began, Pat, right around DeSoto mm -hmm. and Sherman Way. As we come up to another major street, this will be Waneka. You see he's going to have to stop here. Traffic Whoa, flying yeah. by. LAPD eyeing him from the opposite side. Uh, we'll see uh, what he does if he's just going to kind of, you know, give him give him the eye here. But, well, We're right behind him, a bunch of units coming through now mm. uh, at this point. Um, yeah, you know what, guys, would you say he's getting more reckless as we've been on the air? I mean, he's making these crazy mm -hmm. turns. And maybe that's why wrong. police re-engaged yeah. him, huh, Desmond? Yeah, I, I think, yes, I think that is uh, g g gonna be the case. There's just a couple of units uh, uh, behind him now at this point as we're on a Stag Street. Uh, so back into a, a small residential zone here up to 40 miles an hour on this narrow street, uh, a dark narrow street. I just have to see if uh, LAPD is uh, anywhere nearby that they can uh, do the spike strip. But you did see a couple of units there. They're not far behind now, so they may be re-engaging. A narrow street going to go kind of flying right by a couple of vehicles here. Uh, a lot of apartment, mm -hmm. a lot of apartments here, really kind of dense residential area, and back out onto Santa Coy Street. So you know this guy is kind of hanging around the, the the same neighborhoods where he's been most of the time not getting on any freeways or uh, anything like that. So hopefully he, he has uh, something kind of predictable enough, like I said, that CHP mm -hmm. will get out there, or not CHP, LAPD will uh, flatten his tires and get oh, this look over with. You saw that, uh, yeah, there was a unit right there at Santa Coy Mason, but it looked like he was on the, maybe the wrong side of the street or not quite in position. So uh, this is uh, definitely a stubborn one, a stubborn one right now, Pat and Juan, this. <laughs> Uh, reckless mm -hmm. driving suspect. Yeah, I'm glad to see that he's away from those more narrow neighborhood streets, Desmond. These are wider streets, as you see there in the uh, San Fernando Valley, back onto Sadequay Street, a driver wanted for reckless driving. As far as we know, Desmond, just one person in that car or unknown at this point? Yeah, uh, unknown at this point. Haven't heard uh, any word about uh, how many suspects are mm -hmm. uh, in the vehicle. Oh, right through another red light, oh. really close there. <laughs> Just, you know, I got to tell you guys, after covering so many pursuits, you know, even when I have a green light, I kind of have a tendency to slow down uh, through some major intersections for this very reason, because we've just seen this so many times, so many close calls and so many, you know, horrible crashes with innocent people because these uh, these suspects just go blasting through these uh, red lights. And we continue on to Satakoy Street, uh, coming back into the uh, Woodland Hills area. If he continues, uh, Satakoy will uh, dead end in the West Hills area. I believe it goes over towards Valley Circle before it uh, terminates there. So uh, no real necessarily rhyme and reason, but it has primarily been 
in the uh, West San Fernando Valley the whole time. Yeah, and he's back on Santa Street. That's a very familiar thoroughfare for this uh, driver mm -hmm. <laughs> this evening. He's ended up on Santa Cory a number of times. And, you know, we certainly can't get into these drivers heads and try to figure out why this person is still running from police when at first he was wanted for reckless driving. Mm -hmm. So, you know, by now he's racked up quite a few charges making and a turn. He's making a left turn. That's right. And he's on Vassar. Yeah, Vassar and that's Vassar a Avenue. Yeah, another. Yep. Oh, oh. OK, here we All go. All right. That, maybe this is where you look at that. The gate opens. I guess maybe this is where the guy lives. Let's see how close the LAPD is. I see some red and blue lights, so we're going to try to get into position. It looks like well, you can see they have the spotlight overhead, mm -hmm. so he's not going to get away from the units in the air, but he may be hoping to buy a little bit of time and then get out of the car and run, oh. and I think that's what he's going to do. We're going to try to get behind this building here. Uh, we see another here person out there, and here he goes on the run and into the apartment building. Oh, so uh, telling me this is most almost certainly where this person lives. Uh, you saw the gate open there. You know, it usually requires a, a clicker or something like that. And uh, away this person goes, we'll see, going to go into a unit there, a waiting unit. So this is, you know, either his house or maybe his girlfriend's house or a friend's house or something like that off of uh, Vassar Avenue in Woodland Hills. So uh, you saw the spotlight. They know the unit that this guy went into. And now LAPD is going to go in and they're going to maybe uh, surround the building here, make sure that there's only one way in and out. Uh, so that they have the advantage and just going to have to see what happens. This might turn into a standoff, Matt Juan. Yeah, and great job, uh, Desmond, keeping uh, that uh, suspect right there in the center of your shot. We were able to see it. So did our viewers. The, the, the guy run right into that apartment. And as you said, this looks, Pat, to me like a gated community, especially since that gate opened up when the car got closer. So really yes. nowhere else for him to go. Maybe he's trying to settle some things before he is eventually taken away. But police know where he's at. And uh, now Look they're going there. to they're right uh, at the, the approach. End. Is that an officer, I Desmond? I think so. Yeah. The, yeah. Right at the Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. And, and Pat, one, I, I wanted to mention, too, it looked like I, I didn't see the guy sitting there fiddling with his keys or anything like that. He just went right in. Makes me think that there might have been somebody inside waiting, you know, for him with mm -hmm. the door unlocked to uh, welcome him home. So uh, unless, you know, he left his door unlocked, highly unlikely. So here we are off of Vassar Avenue, south of uh, Satakoy Street, all the units in response. The airship overhead, they have this person pinned down. Uh, you know, they're going to have uh, units out on Vassar Street as well, just to make sure this guy doesn't try to jump out the window or do something crazy like that. And look to, at the uh, neighbors. So, there are neighbors coming yeah, out, yeah, obviously. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you got a, a low flying helicopter overhead and a, and a spotlight on your apartment complex. You know, neighbors are definitely going to start to uh, come out and say, what the heck is going on? And they'll turn on uh, KCAL and they'll see exactly what's happening right now. And you know, we don't want to um, you know, alarm people and obviously say things that, that we don't quite right. know, but, but this still could be, uh, it's a serious situation now and it could be a dangerous situation somewhat simply mm -hmm. because of um, just how much he wanted to get away from officers and all the um, illegal moves he was making. And then the fact that um, he would bail out of the vehicle and run from officers inside mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know that could be a present a, a very tenuous situation in terms of officers even trying to approach right you know and we've for, heard, for whoever else is in that happen. apartment too yeah exactly mm -hmm. well there they go well, there they come now with, with yeah with guns weapons drawn. drawn you see four officers uh, coming up so we'll just have to see how, how they're going to approach this uh, you know very fairly delicate situation they don't know who else is inside? Oh. See him kicking on the door here. Yeah, kind of wow. doing some 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 Bruce Bruce Lee kicks there. Oh, Just, no question. Out of that door, right open. So here they go. Here they go in with force and guns drawn. And uh, you know, let's just hope that uh, nobody innocent in there makes any sudden moves and that uh, we see the suspect come out uh, in handcuffs here momentarily. That's. Did they make an entry? It's really really dark, so I can't really tell from here. I can still see a lot of officers mm -hmm. outside. Maybe they can't without a search uh, warrant. Well, Maybe they kicked they in the door. Yeah, I mean, oh, um, there's yeah, somebody. Yeah, here's, yeah, here, that's that's somebody that was definitely that's a not woman. the suspect. But yeah, I mean, the, the the officer just kicked the door in. Yeah. Um, yeah I can't remember uh, last time you know I've I've seen that, but they're gonna uh, detain her right now. She was you know acting 
uh, like she doesn't know what's going on. And here you see some other uh, look. officers, it looks like, coming up the other side of the stairwell. Right, to the right. Uh, again, just kind of overwhelming force right now. To but, the right uh, of your they're screen. They're going to have to go through. Yeah, they're going to have to go through and clear the apartment. And, uh, you know, they don't know if this person is armed or not. This, this was a reckless driving suspect. This was not a, it, it, this wasn't one of the more serious, you know, felony charges that we often see. So uh, that may be of, of some comfort to officers, but we still have no idea if this person, you know, has a knife or if they have a gun in the home or anything like that. So now they're we making have several entry. officers going in and there's the suspect. They've got All him. Right. It looks like they're getting him up against the wall right now. And uh, we can officially put this one at an end. And uh, fortunately, after that tense situation and the, the crazy driving, we didn't see any crashes or, or innocent people harmed in this. And it looks like one suspect is now in custody, Pat Juan. Okay, you know, I don't want to speculate again, but it's it, it almost seems, uh, Desmond, mm -hmm. Amwan asked this question in terms of maybe they knew something else.